All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I just kind of threw that up for reference so you guys can remember which bike we're talking about, but the KFX that we just bought, that we just went, drove 10 hours for, went to Atlanta for overnight, through a storm. Guys, I went to go sell this bike and I was with my son and this guy stole this four-wheeler right in front of me. Um, when I say you kind of in the midst of it, you it's almost as if like, okay, like this has to be a joke. Like this, that really didn't just happen, right? It happened, man. And like, it was, it's such a so real experience. And of course it's a loss. I mean, not only did, I, did it take me 10 to 12 hours out of my life to even make this venture to go buy this four-wheeler, but the, the money that was lost in the midst of this, guys, I mean, I'm talking, we're at least out at least six grand on this, um, you know, easily. So, I mean, I'm not gonna go into like too many details, but like this video needs to, I just kind of want to bring awareness. For one, I was way too relaxed. Anytime I've done a deal, I've done tons of deals. I've done deals that I don't even post on the channel, guys. Um, but there has to be some type of sense of awareness. You have to be very cautious of who you're doing deals with. There was tons of red flags that morning when this actually happened. So like, you know, it was stuff that it should have just made me say, all right, look, this happened, this happened, this happened. Let's go ahead and, you know, tell them that we just come back another time and go ahead and leave. I don't know how the dude would have reacted if I decided to do that. Ultimately, this young man here got dropped off. You know, he told me that somebody was coming back with a trailer. Okay, cool, because they pulled up in a vehicle that does not have a bed. I'm not gonna give too many, you know, too many drops. But, you know, so that that's common. Okay, you get dropped off, cool. Somebody's gonna come back with a truck and trailer to let's pick it up. He also didn't have any money on him. I've heard that before. Let's pull up, let's check it out. Hey, my wife's on the way to bring me some money for it, or my brother's on the way, or my cousin's on the way, or my sister's on the way to bring me some money for it. Okay, cool. Everybody knows that you cannot test drive this stuff without money in your hand, okay? And, and if you're watching, I'm not telling you how to get this done because trust and believe, I'm from the South. It's very well you get killed doing something like this. I had, Like I said, I had my son with me. I had no firearm on me. Very relaxed, very comfortable. Uh, the next thing is, you know, the person is very common for they to ask you like, hey, how about you get on, you drive it, let me see, you know, let me let me see how it runs, let me see what it looks like. Okay, cool, you go do that, when you come back, make sure you always take the key out of these units, guys. You have to take the key out. Cause with the key in, they hop on, there's no, there's no vehicle catching a four wheeler from zero to 60 and the, the, the speed that it can drop down to nothing and take back off a whole nother direction, okay? We see this every day with the ride outs, cops chasing guys. Unless you hit them and run them over or tackle them off, there's no way you're gonna catch anything like that, guys. It's just not, it's just not gonna happen, okay? So, listen, I'm gonna have to replace that KFX 450 that we just bought with the TRX 450 that I've had for a while now. So I actually do have a sale set up on the uh, TRX 450. I'll drop a pic so you can see which ones I'm talking about. And then I still have the white one, you know, but I'm also in talks of selling the white one, guys. Um, you know, these are losses that, you know, you can, you can sit and ponder on the loss, but at the same time, you kind of have to be thankful that it happens before it gets to a grander scale. You know what I'm saying? So, it happened, guys. It happened to us. You know, this one hurts. This one hits home, you know, even if it were to happen to somebody I did know. Crazy thing is, the guy that I bought the KFX from had just told me that someone had did that to him, you know, and I'm still thinking like, wow, that's crazy, but that would never happen to me. Never say something won't happen to you, okay? You know, that guy, he, he could have, he could have hurt me or hurt my son for it. Thankfully, that all he did was take off on that folder. Um, so, again, like I said, guys, I don't have anybody backing me. It's just, it's just me and my hustle and grind every single day. Anything you see on this channel comes from my work and my hustle. Um, so, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching this video. 
Um, if you if you if if you are returning, uh, thank you for watching. But just remember these things. Keep the key on you. Please, please, please do your meetups in a safe location. I would say a Walmart, but this same thing happened right next to a Walmart. I almost wouldn't even say your yard because there's nobody there to say, hey, stop him. They could, who knows, they would, they could shoot you for it. You, you don't want to die over a four-wheeler. Um, keep a third person with you. Don't have kids around doing deals because that that is a hazard in itself. Have a buddy with you that's watched on the other side to keep somebody on each side. Have two buddies if you can. Have family around if you can. I'm not, you know, pro this, but somebody keep a firearm on them, guys. You never know who you're doing deals with. Um, if you can, do a deal at your local police precinct. Um, it's just, you know, so many things. Uh, when you're on the phone, I didn't even ask for the person's name. Ask for their name when you're on the phone. Hey, what's your name? They could lie to you. That's cool. When they get there, hey, man, let me see your driver's license. I had a deal go wrong before. I just want to make sure I'm doing business. You don't have a license? Well, let's do this. Um, you know, just not to want to really want to go that far, but set some boundaries, set some precautions. At the end of the day, this is a business that I am running. So this was, not only did it happen to me personally, this was a personal loss to my business. This was something that was traumatic. This is something that can happen to anybody. So you guys have to know, in 2024, I asked to stop the scamming and stealing last year. In 2024, guys, we're still dealing with this. This is an everyday thing, you know. And this, you got to think of the people that are not reporting stuff like this. So, again, please stay tuned. We got to replace it. We got to get back up. We have a whole new year to make stuff happen. And, uh, guys, I'm, I'm still trying to go to the channel. So, y'all, please like, share, subscribe. Get the awareness out that this stuff is happening, guys. And I'll drop another picture of the KFX. Y'all have seen it. If y'all see that four-wheeler, drop a comment. Tell me where you've seen it. Um, I, I will put cash out if somebody can, can find that four-wheeler. And, uh, guys, again, thank you so much. We have been growing the channel. Y'all been, been hitting that like button. Y'all been subscribing. But please, 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 you guys spread awareness and know this is, this is real. This is really happening out here. And this is, a, this is something that's happening every day. This has happened to you. It happened to me. It can happen to anybody. Be smart. Be safe. Be precautious. Peace.